Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is video number two we're doing tonight and we got here a bit later than we wanted to. Um, we'd just been to the airfield and now we're at, you probably recognise the place, it is uh, Khan Cottage and it is the cottage up in St Ives up on the moors that is uh, supposedly the place where Alastair Crowley once uh, frequented and even summoned demons in this cottage. Um, we're just getting set up now, we've got laser grids up, um, we've got infrared lighting set up for various places, over there as well. Um, so I'm going to go infrared shortly. I've got some trigger objects, um, which are behind me here. We've got a, a drawing of Alistair Crowley, a little crucifix, wooden one, uh, one of Alistair's 666 badges. Um, as well as some other things. We've even got a Ouija board, so we're going to do maybe have a go at a session with that tonight as well. Um, last time we were here, we had very, very little activity, which is um, unusual. In fact, that was weird in itself that it was so unbelievably quiet up here. Um, I mean, you can see the old floorboards um, under my feet. Um, and they, they weren't even creaking. That's how deadly quiet it was. So we are really hoping that tonight we can do something or say something or just trigger um, some evidence tonight. But uh, with the paranormal, whether you believe it or not, um, you know, it, it's, it's not a performing monkey. You know, if you go to places and get activity every single time, you're a better man than anyone because that's generally not how the paranormal works. Um, anyone who says different is lying. Um, you know, people have been to 30 East Drive and spent days there and had nothing. So um, it's it's on and off. Uh, last time we were here, it was very much off. Hopefully by returning and keep returning, eventually you'll catch something. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna try and get something tonight. Um, you know, you can't win them all. So I'm up here with Nick, who's just going around getting baseline readings at the minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a camera set up looking at our trigger objects and things. Um, it's not going to be a great deal of talking in this one. It's just going to try and film what we're doing and hopefully we'll get something. Um, as I say, you guys are um, coming along with us on this one. We wanted to get here in daylight, I wanted to get some drone footage, I wanted to have a nice look around, show you guys around again, um, but obviously that didn't happen. It was literally just turning dark as we got here. Um, literally as soon as we walked in the door, lights out, bang. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna quickly show you and give you a reminder of me infrared setups. Um, there's that one powered by a power pack. And then over here behind Sir Nicholas, sorry Nick. Hey Sir Nicholas yeah. works. Uh, is another one, Just set up on a little tripod there. Uh, at the moment I'm using some LED lighting as well, just so we can get set up. That's the uh, infamous fireplace. Another cool little tripod with my uh, laser grid on. And Nick's inferior model of <laughs> Yeah, that green one kilowatt one, that certainly gives off a... It's a piece. It is. And up here is that ghostly face. Very, very weird. So yeah, hopefully you guys will um, join us tonight and hopefully we will capture something for you. Um, it does feel slightly different to last time we were here, but again, it's, it's, it's uh, very, very minor changes. It still feels really calm, which is annoying. But um, see what we can do. 
So uh, let's get finish getting set up and um, get into it. Yeah. And it just suddenly turned itself off. And that cross is so nearly in the middle of Alistair's forehead. The shadow of it. Yeah. There's definitely some bits going on. And the fact that the EMF went off and it's the first time it has. I'm not a huge fan of EMFs. But there was a spike mm. of EMF no, over there. That was weird. I don't know what it was reading. Who was Rose? I don't remember it, Rose. See, I do. I can't remember why. But listen. I can't make any words out of it. session so um move my light, could you do it again? So then guys, I mean, Nick's just done a spirit box session in the other room. Um, had a few noises in here, but nothing major. I need to investigate what happened over there as well at some point. Um, but I'll go back on the footage. Um, Nick's got some quite interesting responses on the spirit box and the EVPs. 
um, it was a really weird voice um, at one point and also the name Rose has come up now Rose doesn't mean anything to me as such I don't remember it in my research I've done on Crowley but um, that's not to say it's not a name that should be um, connected I mean it, it could well very well be connected to Alice Crowley um, I need to go back and look at that um, but Rose is quite a, a funny name or a very random name to come up um, and there's this, this weird voice it sounds that was it I mean it's It, it gives me chills just hearing yeah, that. Just, I don't know. Um, Something not right about that. Yeah, I don't feel easy with that at all. Um, I know I said earlier it was, it was a different feeling tonight, but actually, uh, not a different feeling rather, there, there is such a weird vibe. Um, I was just outside then and um, it just didn't, didn't feel right. I feel quite uneasy tonight for some reason. It's a different energy. Yeah, definitely. Um, but he's got some really interesting stuff we're going to go through in a second and record it all down onto the, the camera. Um, some really weird stuff coming through. Yeah, so um, we're going to do that in a sec. We'll just replay some of the EVPs on camera but it's still eerily quiet it's given where we are and the weather outside it's it's too quiet there should be a lot more wind noise and trees and and it's just nothing going it's so quiet in it yeah something's just giving me goosebumps literally I've got ice cold See, I feel sick, but I don't know if that's because of the fish and chips. <laughs> no. I don't think it is. I think it's in here. It's quite a breeze all of a sudden, wasn't it? But that voice, the more I think about it, if you find some of the old interviews and footage of Alistair Crawley, it sounds very like his voice. Guys, we're cutting this one a bit short. I currently feel like I'm kind of under attack. Um, really uneasy at the minute. I feel like my face is on fire. Um, and yeah, we just, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm calling it, I think. Um, I want to try and get a bit more done. Uh, there's no way in hell I'm getting a Ouija board out up here um, not tonight um, I kind of feel like things are coming through even though we're not really trying hard you know if that makes sense 
Um, I'm struggling to get my words out at the minute. It's, it's, it's really hard to describe how I'm feeling right now. Um, but we're going to head down because I, I can't really describe what's happening and I, I don't really want to understand it right now. Um, but yeah, this doesn't feel right. Um, and I think when you get to that point in a, an investigation or a, you know, a, even if you just sat and observing, it's just it's time to call it. And um, that's what we decided to do. We review the EVPs probably in the car or something. Um, because, uh, yeah, we just want to get out of here at the minute. It's um, not a nice feeling. So uh, maybe catch up with you in a bit. If not, I'll see you on the next video.